Ethereum just got a bullish retest. Our next pump target is super high. In this video, you will find out what Ethereum is going to do next. Welcome to Daily Crypto Technical Analysis. We are going to do daily Ethereum price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and of course, price action. But before we start, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 250 likes on this video. Make sure it turns blue. It will only take you one second. On the four hour time frame, you are going to see that Ethereum is perfectly bouncing at our diagonal support level that I was mentioning in yesterday's video. You can see right now that when Ethereum was making some kind of a rising wedge pattern, right now, of course, we broke it to the upside and it looks like we bounced exactly at our diagonal support level that I was already mentioning in yesterday's video. We had our horizontal support level right here at around 1,571 US dollars. And also we had our diagonal support level exactly right here. And if we right now go with our exponential moving averages on the hourly time frame, we also had our 50 EMA exactly at our horizontal support level and also at our diagonal support level here on the Ethereum price. And if we right now add our EMA ribbon indicator, once again, hourly and also two hourly EMA ribbons were exactly at this specific level. Because that right now, it looks like Ethereum is bouncing exactly at this specific level at around 1,571 US dollars. And of course, right now, I would be expecting more movement to the upside here on the Ethereum price. If we go right now on the four hourly time frame, it looks like we are forming some kind of a bullish pin bar. You can see right now when we actually got a pull to the downside and this specific bullish retest, we got an immediate pull to the upside forming this wick right here. And if you see very big wicks to the downside, that is usually a bullish indication. Also, three hour time frame, we are having a bullish pin bar. If we are right now going to close this specific candle, something like this in around four minutes, of course, it would be a bullish pin bar, bullish indication for Ethereum, why we could continue, of course, our way to the upside in the next couple of hours. Also, hourly time frame, bullish pin bar, super big way to the downside, exactly to our support level, because that, in my opinion, right now, Ethereum definitely looks very nice and bullish. Also, right now, if we go on our 30 minute time frame, in the Discord server, I actually posted that Ethereum was forming some kind of the hand and shoulders pattern. And if we right now measure the target of this hand and shoulders pattern from the top to the bottom, you are going to see that we perfectly hit our price target of our hand and shoulders pattern exactly at our diagonal support level. Right now, because of that, because we are not forming any bearish patterns at the moment here on the Ethereum price, I would actually be expecting more movement to the upside in the next couple of hours. My next price target for Ethereum would be weekly CPR level. That means right now that my next take profit for Ethereum, if we are going to continue our way to the upside, would actually be around 1740 US dollars, where we are right now having our weekly CPR level. Yes, we still need to know that our price target of our SNE triangle still has not been reached. And if we go right now on the four hour time frame, of course, Ethereum was forming this SNE triangle. And if we measure the price target for this SNE triangle, the price target is around 1800 US dollars. And because of that, my next price target would be 1740 US dollars where we are having our weekly CPR level but my next take profit area would definitely be our ascending triangles target at around 1800 US dollars here on the Ethereum price. Also right now something very nice and bullish happened here on the Ethereum price. If we go with our RSI indicator I was mentioning a specific pattern being formed here on a daily time frame. You can see that RSI indicator was actually making higher lows. That means we could actually make a diagonal support level, something like this. And also right now, you are clearly going to see that we broke our symmetrical triangle to the upside on the RSI indicator. In my opinion, this is right now definitely a bullish indication for Ethereum, why I would definitely be expecting more movement to the upside in the next couple of hours. Before I actually show you why Ethereum could maybe or potentially see more movement to the downside in the next couple of weeks, that means longer term speaking, if you are not already leverage trading Bitcoin and Ethereum on Bybit leverage trading exchange, I have below the like button links where you can sign up on Bybit and get up to 620 US dollars for free in training bonus if you're going to use the code jackpot until 5th of February 2021 in the rewards hub of Bybit Leverage Trading Exchange. Right now, if we go on our dollar currency index, you are going to see that it looks like we are breaking our falling wedge pattern to the upside. And because of that, this is right now, of course, a bearish indication for Bitcoin. But 
because we are having inverse correlation between Bitcoin and DXY. That is, of course, as I said, bearish indication for Bitcoin. But because Ethereum is moving very, very similar than Bitcoin, that means right now that if Bitcoin is going to see a pull to the downside in the next couple of days, of course, you could also be expecting more movement to the downside also on the Ethereum price. Do not get me wrong, I am still bullish on Ethereum for intraday, but I just want to say maybe in the next couple of days, maybe in the next couple of weeks, we could see a pull to the downside exactly because of dollar currency index and also because on the weekly time frame on the Ethereum price on the Ahler Stochastic CG oscillator, it looks like we are forming a double top pattern right here. So because of this specific double top pattern being formed on the weekly time frame, very high time frame on the Ahler Stochastic, of course, is once again a bearish indication for Ethereum, why possibly in the next couple of weeks, in the next couple of days, we could see more movement to the downside here on the Ethereum price and also on the Bitcoin price. Right now, if we go with our RSI indicator on the four hour time frame, it looks like we are getting out of our overbought region. That means right now that our indicators on Bitcoin and also on Ethereum, it looks like they are resetting. That is right now, in my opinion, a nice indication for Ethereum, why I would be actually expecting more movement to the upside in the next couple of hours. Yes, we could still see another pull to the downside, let's say to our diagonal support level, to our 50 exponential moving average on the hourly time frame, and also to our horizontal support level, as I said before, but then hopefully we bounce here, continue our way to the upside. I am bullish on Ethereum, and I would be expecting more movement to the upside. As I said, that is right now very, very nice that our indicators are coming out of our overbought region. Indicators are resetting, and because of it, you could definitely be expecting more movement to the upside on Ethereum and also on Bitcoin. But right now, if we go on our wave chain indicator, on the other hand, it looks like we are getting a red dot on the three hourly time frame right here. We have still curving to the downside, and also on the four hourly time frame, it looks like we are getting right now a confirmed red dot right here. We web curving to the downside and red dot. That means right now a bearish indication for Ethereum. So because of that, maybe right now we could still see a, a little pull to the downside. Let's say to our horizontal support level, maybe even to this support level at around 1,518 US dollars before Ethereum is going to continue its way to the upside. Because yes, I would be expecting more movement to the upside on Ethereum because our price target of our ascending triangle at around 1,800 US dollars still has not been reached on the Ethereum price. Also right now, if we go with our Adler Stochastic CG oscillator on the four hourly time frame, potential double bottom pattern on this one. And also if you go on the hourly time frame, it looks like we could once again get some kind of a double bottom pattern also right here. Bullish indication for Ethereum. That means right now that even if we are going to see a pull to the downside to our horizontal support level, to our diagonal support level, and also to our 50 exponential moving average. In my opinion, Ethereum is going to have a pretty high probability of bouncing exactly right here. And then of course, continuing its way to the upside. Also, if we go with our money flow indicator, on the four hourly time frame, you are going to see that it looks like we are coming out of our overbought region. Also, exactly the same thing is happening here on the three hourly time frame. Of course, we had our bearish divergence right here because of the lower high on the money flow indicator and a higher high on the price action of Ethereum. But it looks like right now we are coming out of our overbought region. That means our indicators are resetting. And because of that, maybe, of course, we could get a little pull to the downside right here. But then I would definitely be expecting more movement to the upside here on the Ethereum price. Two hourly time frame, exactly the same thing. It looks like we are coming out of our overbought region and because of it, I would definitely expect more movement to the upside on the Ethereum price in the next couple of hours. And also right now, if you go on the hourly time frame on the MACD indicator, it looks like lower low on the MACD indicator, higher low on the price action of Ethereum, bullish divergence. Because of that, once again, I would be expecting more movement to the upside. Yes, as I said before, maybe we could see a pull to the downside, let's say to our horizontal support level, maybe to even this horizontal support level at around 1,580 18 US dollars before, yes, our next price target at around 1740 US dollars, in my opinion, is going to be reached here on the Ethereum price. If you haven't already, please do smash a like button because today's goal is to reach 250 likes on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and technical analysis videos. Right now, you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you for watching and peace out.